Like, yeah, everything's fine. Sounds like an episode of 24. Okay. Are we so, recording? Let's, let's, or Homeland let's or something. Shit. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a show that killed off one of the mains. <laughs> I never watched it. Spoiler alert. Well, it's because yeah, like, now I don't have to yeah, watch it. Yeah, yeah. Well, he was technically wasn't the main. He was like the main villain. They set him up like that, and then they just killed him off, and then kept on going without him. There's oh. actually a lot of shows I haven't seen, like a lot of popular ones. Yeah, Prison Break I never watched, but when it was like the first two seasons, it was apparently really good. Yeah. Well, no, it's like after break. they break out of the prison, then after that, it's kind of stupid. <laughs> yeah, I heard it was like the same thing over and over <laughs> again. I spoil it for you because yeah, they I'm break out of it. like eighteen prisons. <laughs> <laughs> that was just, like, was that the intention with the show? At that point, it's just a challenge. Like the first season was awesome because it was like oh, breaking out of prison. Yeah, and then the and second then, season is, oh, what can we do? We can break out of prison again. Yeah. Didn't and they, like, then, break into prison? Yeah, in the second season, <laughs> they break into, into prison. prison. And then in the third season... The prison breaks out of us. <laughs> in Mexico, and they break out of a Mexican prison or something like that. Ooh, and it just, right. then the fourth I'm season, it's again... Go to a Norwegian to, prison next. Trying to break back into prison. I don't think you'd want to leave. Like Isn't it, like, super nice? <laughs> it's nicer. Well, I, it's, like, I not like a that. Russian prison. Where it's Yeah, Russian prisons are terrible. I had the same feeling with House as well. I watched, watched House it. except for the last season. Yeah. Last season was yeah, kind of me shit. Too. I watched all the way up to the last yeah. season. Yeah. <laughs> I was really good until the game became shit. It just started to. Well, it started to be like the same thing over and over again, yeah. too. Yeah. I just I was just looking for like best episodes or notable episodes just to watch it. All right. This is your new episode of Verbal Laxative. And then, yeah. What? Oh, yeah. What? No. What? Yeah. I got nothing. Uh, Ignore oh. the phone. Okay. I'm turning off the sound. All right. <laughs> All right. Here's another Verbal Laxative. Verbal Laxative. New episode. And uh, we got the usual gang around. We have Simpson. Hassan. I'm Jason. And we also got uh, recur- returning guest, Brian. Hello. My Hello. Name is Brian. <laughs> in case no one could tell <laughs> first reoccurring guest I think first guest and first, first reoccurring guest. guest if we're not counting the dogs then you yes you are rack- racking up the awards for this one <laughs> before the end of the year is there rewards? I got nothing <laughs> your reward is uh, being part of this and Anything. taking pride in it oh, but Jesus Christ oh yeah that's always the tough part window updates you can't stop them this episode is brought to you by Microsoft. <laughs> um, no, I wish. Us. Oh man, that'd be so awesome. All right, this is. Uh, I could quit my job. We would all quit our jobs if we could get sponsored by anyone at but, all. Speaking of Microsoft, though, is it true that Bill Gates is trying to get, like, either kill off mosquitoes? I know he's trying to get rid of malaria, but is, like, part of that to get rid of mosquitoes? I have yeah, no idea. I think I, I read about that one. I think he was. Like, there's. There's a couple of ways you can uh, attack malaria. One is you make all the female mosquitoes like inert, so they can't give birth. So essentially, just kill off mosquitoes. Yeah, and then the other way is that you um, cure malaria. Like you, <laughs> like the way you would cure malaria is you find um, <laughs> a cure, a cure. Yeah, and then you would you would infect the mosquito, and then they would infect the people with the cure. I just wonder if killing off mosquitoes would actually screw up like yeah, ecosystems, ecosystems and stuff. Yeah, a lot of things eat mosquitoes. Well, actually, like mosquitoes, are really interesting because you know, like in London, they have these uh, trains, the underground trains, and uh, mosquitoes started, um, you know, living there because there's so many people and stuff. And then that type of mosquito started mutating to the point where those mosquitoes can't mate with the mosquitoes outside of London uh, train. So there's his own breed of mosquitoes. So it's a brand new species? Yeah, it's a brand new one. And it's funny because they have different characteristics. Like, they don't really fly that much because they could just crawl and <laughs> it's introverted hook onto mosquitoes. rats. Jesus. Yeah. They can't mate with the outside so, ones because they're too <laughs> close and agoraphobic. The one, of the, one of the scary part is if they ever get that malaria stuff, it would be really hard to treat. Just because how we treat malaria on the outside world would not affect them because they're just such a different species. So there would be a new strain of malaria if they, if they started... Mm-hmm. Potentially, yeah. yeah, and even malaria is very interesting because it evolves in a way where it makes uh, the host attractive to mosquito. Like, your if you have malaria, your blood would be attract would be very attractive to mosquitoes, even if it's a dormant malaria. And it's 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 uh, evolved that way so that mosquitoes would spread it better. Well, what a okay. topic to jump into. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> before we continue that. Uh, I don't know if anybody's been noticing that uh, a little bit of a change in how we record, but uh, uh, yeah, moved to a new house, and now we're all sitting around like a bunch of uh, 
teenage boys, I guess. <laughs> we don't have chairs. Yeah. It's huddled still... <laughs> around one mic. <laughs> Campfire style. Yeah. Anyways. But, uh, yeah, this is to the, the fans and the listeners, you know, the guy from Uzbekistan, we're still thinking about you, and everyone else. <laughs> always thinking about you. You were the yeah. one we do it for. Yeah. yeah. You, 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 you know, know, I think the listening time for that was like less than and 10 you seconds. Keep going. Anyways, I wanted to, before we get back to the whole mosquito deal, I did want to uh, make a correction of something I said last time. Oh, uh, remember, I, yeah, there's going to be a ton of these. Why are we always making corrections? Well, because I alone. want to, you know, not, I want to try to at least... Uh, negate my stupidity some way. <laughs> I just roll with my stupidity. Yeah, well, you had a lot of corrections too. So, anyways, but no, this really time I don't think I think you're in the clear. Oh, you're um, clear. Yeah, yeah. Just keep on eating that. <laughs> this episode also brought to you by McDonald's. It's a dick. He's eating a dick. <laughs> <laughs> McDonald's. Right. If it's in McDonald's, McDonald's dick, <laughs> he loves it. Anyways, McDonald's. My. Correction I wanted to make was uh, last time I talked about that dude getting shot, getting lit up by the SWAT guy. That wasn't in Vegas. That was in Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona, I think. I don't want to make another correction. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. No, it wasn't another state. It was actually Dallas. <laughs> yeah, no. That, that aside, okay, we got that out of the way. Back to mosquitoes, I guess. Why do we have to we just start something else? You didn't... Did you still want to talk about mosquitoes? No, that's, Yo, that's everything I have. Actually, did mosquitoes. you ever see that video? I was on YouTube, and it's like, uh, it just search up, like, Mosquito Burger. Uh-huh. And, I, and then it's, like, this video of, like, this swarm of, it's, I, I think it's mosquitoes. Um, maybe not. Maybe it's mayflies. I don't know. But it's Bugs some kind of, of insect. Yeah, it's, it's a big cloud of insects somewhere in Africa. And then the locals, what they do is, you know, they're catching it in nets and stuff. And then Huge next thing amounts you know, of them, by the way. Yeah, next thing you know, they're basically, you know, like... Uh, mixing it in like a bowl, it looks like ground meat, but all mosquitoes are just they're just piling. They're just like smooshing it together, <laughs> making make, it like a make. sick play-doh, and then they grill it. Well, they put it on the fryer. Just you know, this mosquito patty. Take it out. No, 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 no. Eat it. Mosquito mm. burger. Next time yes. you're in Africa, you gotta try the local. <laughs> yes, that's a that's a good source of protein. Yeah, yeah. And AIDS. <laughs> it's a lot of blood. Like, can you get it from eating it? I don't know, but if you're gonna make a burger out of it, <laughs> if if there was ever a, a version of AIDS that could be transmitted by eating, it would become from a mosquito burger. <laughs> Would you yes. try it? No, I would What not if try you it. were assured you wouldn't get AIDS? I don't care. I would go to the real McDonald's there and hope they don't have that I, as the local. <laughs> I would menu. hope that if they have a McDonald's there, they wouldn't be eating these flies or yeah. mosquitoes oh, or whatever. Speaking of weird things to eat, I just read some random article today about some school in the States where the, uh, the like a high, high school, senior high school, whatever, junior high, they, um, the cook there was serving kangaroo meat. In the States? In the States, oh, okay. yeah. That was, yeah. I heard that's okay. normal in, like, Australia. Though. I know it's in Australia, so I but for, like, yeah, Americans. I mean, they... But did, did he import it? For... <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know how he got his hands on it, but apparently he had decided, he made an executive decision, apparently, because it's more healthier, kangaroo meat, than, like, how um, close is a so, school to a zoo? I don't know. Fuck, how like, would he... It was just a small little, like a little article. That'd I be mean, expensive. Like, He's just eating exclusively kangaroo it, No, it wasn't meat. exclusive. Like, he mixed it in with their regular slaw. Okay, or whatever okay. He he, I guess he was short on regular meat, so he in, mixed up some kangaroo meat in it. I don't know why. I don't know where he got his hands on. That sounds like a guy that and should just go on Master I, Chef. I don't know how he made <laughs> that decision by himself. Like, hey... We're running low on meat, so I'm going to throw some kangaroo meat. In his Makes sense. Stomach. Why would... <laughs> he could just request for more money for, you know, beef. Yeah, I just thought that was weird. Not that eating kangaroo meat is weird. It's just for... Have Americans. you tried it? No, I've never tried it. Would you want to try it? I've had lots of different kinds of meat, but I haven't. Had I don't it. know for sure if I've had it. Because I actually... It was at the Stampede. Oh, and they yeah. had, like, kangaroo meat. But I ate it because it came with the... Two other ones. It was like sliders, basically. So one's supposed to be kangaroo. <laughs> one's supposed to be uh, alligator or crocodile or something. Oh, yeah. Okay. And the other one's supposed to be, I think, uh, I don't know, some other form of reptile. I'm going to go with snake, just yeah. for the story's sake. But I ate them, and then overall, it's like they didn't taste all that different from normal meats. And it's in a patty form, so it's like you can't really taste the different textures but i don't know so i don't know if it's legit or not i'm do you not sure how legit it? that stuff is like if exactly like like one little bit of like yeah exactly and the rest, the rest is chicken or chicken or something <laughs> because 
getting that stuff, like importing it, that would be expensive. I, I do you one better, man. I've had a uh, horse sashimi before. This <laughs> was at where? Oh, uh, you know, Burger King uh, <laughs> down the street. No, this was in uh, this was in Okinawa. Right. Yes. Okinawa, uh, and I had a uh, raw horse meat. I had raw chicken there before too. Not. I can't remember if it's Okinawa, Tokyo, but yeah, I've had the raw chicken meat, the raw horse meat, horse meat, uh, if they didn't tell you horse meat, it'll just be like a really, I guess, uh, tougher beef, I guess, it's close to beef, a little bit gamey, and you can, you, you can taste the, well, as soon as they tell you it's horse, yeah, you can taste the horse. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's I taste them. If you did a taste test of like five burgers, one of them is horse, the rest are beef. You probably wouldn't be able to. You just be. You might think, oh, this tastes like a really old piece of beef. Maybe a little bit more tougher piece of beef. Maybe not. You might not even be able to distinguish it between like a a lean cut of uh, uh of beef, right? So, um, yeah, it's really close to. I would say it's really close to a cow. The cow's flavor. Is there a animal on earth that you wouldn't try eating? Like mm. if it was offered to you, professional cook may prepped it. What is there an animal that you wouldn't eat? Uh, anything that resembles. Uh, well, actually, I don't know. If what it was like eat? monkey or something, maybe not. A snake. I probably <laughs> wouldn't eat a snake just because I don't like snakes. Well, is it is it due to taste or I just would the it looks. be looks? like? I you don't like the way this. <laughs> I don't like the fuck that snake. <laughs> or is it like the ethics? Like you're like, oh, I'm what afraid the, of the What the fuck would the ethics be about the snake? <laughs> it could be like I'm there's born nothing, on the year of the snake. There's nothing I'm the unethical year of the snake. I eat. <laughs> no, if anything, it is ethical to eat snakes. I just don't want to eat snakes. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean the way it looks? Like the way the animal looks? I don't like the way. I, the way I don't the like meat, snakes. The meat, the I don't, way the meat I, yeah, I just don't like snakes. So then you know, like um, if it was cuter, you would eat it. How the, there's no way a snake would ever look cute to me. It looks it looks terrible. What snakes can be cute? You. What if you had the big Japanese anime eyes? I kill it. <laughs> kill all oh, that's nightmarish to me. No, I don't like snakes, so I I don't want. But see what if it. it's made in the form of like a burger, like in a patty, so you don't have to see? Yeah, it. but like when I'm chewing, I'm just picturing picturing a snake slithering. Around. I don't want to deal with any of that shit. I mean. I've I've been told that when I was a uh, when I was really young, I think my grandparents fed me snake meat, but I don't remember that, so that doesn't count. And okay. you know, I've seen I've seen <laughs> stews where they made snakes, especially yeah, I, and in the stew, especially a lot of Asian soups. Like I've seen like Vietnamese soups, and where, where you know you can still see the snake, the skin is still kind of on it, right? And you can see it kind of in this ah, it kind of just grosses me out. I, I I don't think I'd eat that. How about the alcohol? Where they have that? Like yeah, I'll take a shot. Yeah, take a shot. yeah. I mean, I, I don't want that, you know, on my shelf or something because it scare the shit out of me every time. <laughs> yes. Every time I'm in the room, no, but I, I, I'll take a shot of that. Yeah. Take a shot of what? The snake whiskey, like, like the snake is uh, is they put like a snake carcass in the. In, in a bottle full of, you know, it's like, it's like yeah, okay. you, like scorpions. You see that too as well. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, it's actually you can get you can get that stuff in Japan, Jason. Next week when you go, oh, yeah, no, no raw horse meat, raw chicken meat, snake in a bottle. You can also get. Good. I'll try that. You can also get That's whale. one good meal and whale. Yes. Whale sashimi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. freshly <laughs> slaughtered whale for research purposes. How's that still legal? Because it's for research purposes. Okay, I'll do it for science. <laughs> well, I think if it died in the aquarium, you gotta get it out, right? No, these are not aquarium whales, man. (laughs) (laughs) This is pure whaling boat whale. How about you? Is there any uh, animals that you wouldn't eat? I can't think of one right now. I mean, it was presented nicely. Yeah, to say no, right? Chef made it. Like, have you have you seen uh, Hannibal, the TV series? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, so you would eat a human then? Yeah, if it was served by him, yeah, yeah, it would. It looks so good. The way they make the dishes on that, yeah, I don't think you would care. One of the one of the victim was like, "Man, I'm eating myself, and I'm happy to die this way." It was Eddie Izzard's character. (laughs) I don't remember what the character's name was, but yeah, he was just eating his leg, and he was like, "Oh, I'm I'm happy to die." That show was awesome, but they freaking canceled it. Um, I don't know if it was cancelled. They the writers knew ahead of time, so they yeah. kind of did everything they wanted yeah. to do. But the original plan was it for it to be like seven seasons or something. Yeah, five seasons. Yeah, because they were going to do three uh, or two 
original material seasons and then the next three seasons were going to be from like the books like one book per season so it's going to be like five or six total season yeah but they only did three i guess it was a viewership so they just had to come up with a story to end it quicker yeah and well unfortunately with brian fuller he's known for his seasons being canceled like his latest show american gods yeah uh it's being canceled after season one well it's being picked up by another uh director for season two but they're not on the project anymore. Do but. you watch that show or are you just reading the book? No, I want to read the book first. Okay. I'm kinda, it's on my list. Um, but I heard there was only going to be two seasons because they're both just going to be like part of the book, like season one. Um, yeah, it. about like three seasons at most. But yeah, I think you're about yeah. right. Because the book isn't that big. It's like 500 pages. So I don't know how they could turn it into like, you know, 18 seasons or something. They could if they wanted to. <laughs> no, I don't, like, <laughs> I, I, I don't like that. Have you ever heard of The Hobbit? <laughs> that, there's argument. I can argue why they did that. I don't like it. <laughs> so like, long. other than for money? No. Other there's than a good reason? Money, yeah. If if you read the, the appendices at the back of uh, Lord of the Rings, there's a huge chunk of material there that takes place during the time of The Hobbit. So... Peter Jackson kind of moved that forward or moved that into The Hobbit rather than it takes a lot of the you know the storylines aren't um, done or completed in Lord of the Rings and there's holes in the story so they had to uh, so is the stuff in the movies actually all canon then to the it's books? all canon yeah Wait, in the books it would be canon so they made a movie other than other than the other than the, the female elf which so I know why it? they added because there was all dudes. You know, <laughs> they're all dudes, and you know the way a regular movie works, you need to have some kind of like you know waifu, like, like romance, or, <laughs> or just a hot chick, or just she was attractive, chick, or, or some kind of yeah. So they made a that, movie that was clearly uh, that was pulled out of uh, basically the directors. Yeah, but I I could yeah. see why they made that. Decision. So they made, they made two extra movies just based on the appendices. Well, no, there was going to be two movies anyway. The third movie, basically, the, well, mid- the, appendices. the middle movie, they used it to fill in the, the, the stuff from the appendices and stuff. Jesus and the other Christ. thing, the other thing, the Battle of the Five Armies in the book is two, it's like, two pages. Yeah, yeah. You can't do that in the movie, right? So that's why well, the, that's third, the best part. The thir- that's the best part, exactly. So the third movie, they had to focus. They had to explain the whole. When it suck. <laughs> if they if they followed the the book in yeah. that, then it would. The, the battle it just goes to black while he's would... passed out. <laughs> and then he wakes and up, over. And then he wakes up, and it's over. Yeah, so that's why you get three. spoilers for the Hobbit, I guess. But <laughs> I think it's fair game. Books being up. I mean, but yeah, that's how I'm out. Right? Well, the movie's pretty old too. Pretty much everybody's read the book too. Anybody... I remember reading the book in elementary school first, mm-hmm. and <laughs> that was like the that book. was a book that, that was a bit I higher than I was supposed to be hooked on book. That's the one that started it all, eh? Yeah, and that's the one that started it all. So you've read all the uh, Tolkien stuff then? I've read... There's um, a new one, right? Or something? Again, those are all old stories, just expanded. Do you yeah, find them Sun in, or whatever in the, in the, in the finished yeah, some of in, it. You can find the original versions in the Silmarillion so, and unf- the Unfinished Tales. <coughs> so they're just smaller there, but they've just expanded them here with notes and stuff. So really, it's not like a new story. It was always there. What are we talking about before the Hobbit? I don't know. Um, Brian Fuller and being canceled. The show is being canceled. Oh, and then, prior to that was the then, animal then, you would eat. Oh, Jesus right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What animal would you not eat? <laughs> <laughs> I have the time to think about it. Religious uh, reasons aside, Brian's basically yeah. he'd eat anything, including a human, if it was presented. Yeah, if it was presented properly. Dude, no, but have you seen? I've seen it. Yeah, yeah. he makes very exquisite dishes. This yeah, is why seriously. he has made me be be afraid of going to a dinner party where everybody's dressed up and everybody, <laughs> talks, <laughs> you know, immaculately. <laughs> no, oh, no, no, man. Uh, what I wouldn't eat. Uh, religious reasons aside. Yeah. Snake. I'm with you on that. Yeah. I, I can't eat snake. Really. Um. What's your reason for not eating snake? I, it's gross, man. It's just slithers <laughs> all around. I think if I were to redact my question, the answer, um, no endangered redact- species. I no think. redaction. You're, no you're, redaction. Eating, you're eating men. <laughs> that's, what, <laughs> that's what we have you on here. Because I would feel bad eating like elephant and stuff like that, that are kind of being endangered. Like yeah. there's not too many of them left. But you kind of want, like if we're talking like no, no ethics, no ethics, no... Okay, well, I mean, no, you know what? 
Let's about so, what if it's not in danger at all? Would you eat like a mosquito burger? I would take a bite, yeah. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, if it was presented nicely and not uh, malaria infused, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, hopefully none of hopefully those. Hopefully you grill the disease. malaria out of the mosquitoes. You're not gonna get that medium rare. Right? <laughs> yeah, you do want they, that burger well done. Do they still do that show Fear Factor where they make you eat stuff? I don't know, but no. Joe Rogan's definitely not. Joe, on Rogan. <laughs> Joe Rogan's on the whole. He's moved on to better kick. things. Yes, he is. He has his own show. If you don't, he has his own show. He has his own podcast. podcast. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. very yeah. successful. Yeah, like a million you... times more <laughs> successful. You even got Elon Musk on it. Oh yeah, they yeah, got yeah. high on it. Yeah, he got <laughs> high and his uh, his stocks and then his, like his career. Elon Musk doesn't he look like the his story look like the start of like a real life supervillain? Like oh, the people don't understand me. He kind of looks like a supervillain. Supervillain, just gonna. <laughs> He's the super villain in Venom, basically. I haven't seen it. I well, haven't seen I haven't it. seen it, but I, I, kinda, I read some stuff about it. Guy just wants to build a spaceship and stuff. Yeah, that's Elon Musk right there. That's the villain in Venom? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Doesn't sound that bad, though. Yeah, why are you trying to stop him? What's he yeah. going to do? Um, Space exploration is the key to humanity right now. What do you, yeah. th- what do you think of Venom being dropped to PG? Because the whole, <laughs> yeah, the whole idea of it was to uh, compete with, like, Logan and Deadpool and stuff coming out with a hard R. I'll tell you what yeah. I... That's why I was surprised. I'll tell you what I think about it after I see it tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, it should have been R. But I'll see. I'll see like what Like, the whole like. reason they started the whole... Sony started the whole Venom idea was to to go up against, you know, Fox and Deadpool and... and uh, I thought it was yeah. supposed to be, like, a more of a horror movie, too. I was yeah. looking forward to that. Because yeah, every apparently. superhero yeah. movie is being, like, the same thing. Where it's yeah. like, oh, just action, comedy sometimes, and... That Apparently kind of, not. It's more and then, comedy and action. Yeah, and then like two or, two or three weeks before horror. release, I'm hearing that oh, it's, it's a PG rating. I was like, what the? Fuck? But you know, you know what? Um, the thing about that is the critic score was really low. Yeah. But the audience score was really high for that one. Like yeah. the disparity was really very mm-hmm. uh, obvious. It was like Dude. an 88%. Based on audience score and the critics gave something like, like 30. Yeah, something like that. And then basically, you know, like the audience just at that point are saying, you know, don't listen to the shit eating critics, you know, fake news. <laughs> no, fake totally. I, I understand. Like, even with a PG, of course, it's going to be good because it's the first Venom movie ever. But, uh, and people have been waiting for it. But you would think that they would have stuck with the R. I, I think they hoping. did. They did PG thirteen because that gets more money. Your your audience is broader for PG thirteen. Oh, uh, no, Deadpool but did amazing. Did, Dead, Deadpool did that. Yeah, that's a proof right there. Even Logan did amazing. Logan made like on a ninety seven million budget, uh, million dollars. Budget. Yeah, that's he not to like say that's not to say million. rated R movies, uh, won't do amazing. But PG thirteen, is like you you it is a bigger pool of people. No, but if you look at Venom right now, it's sitting at like less than four hundred million. So you think they would have made. Even less than that, if they had gone R, I don't think so. I think, I think it they would have made more. I think they actually did not bad with Venom because when it when it came out, it was pretty bad reviews and people and then the critics were like saying, "Oh, this is not this is gonna be a flop, right?" And it did anything but flop. It's still going strong. Yeah, even with, like, I just really I just I just think I just think if it had actually come out as the original R, it was intended, it would have. Oh, you probably would have. You would probably get a better movie, but. The decision for movie execs to do PG thirteen has always been money. Like right. PG thirteen makes you will get you more uh uh it's a bigger pool to get you tickets from. But if if this movie was supposed to appease uh, or bring in more of an audience then you know, it should have made even it should have made like at least 125, 130 million on opening weekend where it only did eighty. I'm what I'm saying is like if it had been R, it would have done Maybe the same on opening weekend or eighty, but it would have stayed, you know, longer. It's it's questionable too because like with Deadpool, there was a lot of media hype for that going into Deadpool, and they really marketed that well, and they marketed you know as like this is a Deadpool movie, it's rated R, you know, like we're gonna, and they made a big deal about it. They made it known everybody, oh, this is a rated R Deadpool movie. And the whole meta behind that was, oh, the previous movie that had Deadpool sucked. Yeah. And they wanted to do this one right. So everybody had to hype for it. Well, they did that one so, so wrong. Right? But yeah. Venom, you get some of the Spider-Man uh, yeah. hype well, with that. So. Well, so, well, Venom, uh, maybe it's the way Sony did it. And yeah, they should have made it R. Because see, with R, uh, Tom Hardy would have shined more but, too. Yeah, like... Tom Hardy's better as an R rated you know, character. I don't, I, I honestly don't think, 
I honestly don't think Venom, even if it was rated R, would hit the Deadpool numbers on the opening weekend just because there's not that much, there was nowhere near that much hype for Venom uh, as compared to Ryan Reynolds and Deadpool mm-hmm. coming out, right? Well, the first one did, like, amazing, like, the marketing for it was amazing. Yeah. Because Deadpool was, before that, generally pretty much unknown. Exactly. Well, they did, <clears throat> they almost did that fake leak, right? Yeah, well, I don't know how much of their stuff is, like, planned or not planned. Or <laughs> not, but... I feel like leaks nowadays are kind of planned. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like know, the... that pixel one was a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Which pixel? pixel three? Oh, oh, oh man. So like a huge phone, leaks. yeah. Google yeah. Phone, yeah. Well, yeah. short for that is just tons of leaks came out. People like it looks horrendously ugly because a huge thick notch, and then they're starting to build up some like um, people that were saying, "Oh, it's just a fake. They're gonna fake us out at the actual announcement. They're gonna show us like a actual nice phone." Yeah. When time came for the announcement, it was the same phone that was leaked. That's almost the exact same thing as with iPhones. When they said the when they leaked the names like XS XS Max, and everyone yeah. thought these weren't real names, and suddenly they were. But this names. one was like not only the name, the actual full phone, like not just pictures or anything. The phone was like left in a cab at one point. <laughs> the phone was available in s- certain stores in like China before the actual announcement. It's like a huge thing that I was like, whoa. How, I don't know how they, that happened. Leaks are a marketing tool now. Like it's it's not like it's a bad thing. Leaks are pretty much but say planned. Probably the Pixel. To, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, the the Google Pixel leaks. I don't think they were. I yeah, don't think that was done for marketing yeah. purposes. No. It just sounds like whole bung, like just bumbling around. But yeah, I think I don't know. Maybe Deadpool could have been a marketing uh, gimmick to leak some of that stuff out, right? Because at that time, I think they were still trying to get. Uh, more, uh, I guess, more of a green light for that movie. At the time, it definitely felt like it. Like you didn't hear Deadpool at all until you saw the the trailer. Oh, that like whatever is it, a ten minute thing that was leaked or not leaked but put out first. Mm-hmm. That was actually I heard. You could correct me if I'm wrong. You might know more about this, but that was basically all they filmed, and then they put that out, and it was because of all the audience attraction, like all the yeah. people viewing it, that. They then kind of greenlit an actual movie. Yeah, that was that was test footage that was shot even earlier, like yeah. way back, like oh nine or maybe not that early, but something much, was er- much earlier the than movie. much earlier than before the movie started. Like, so I just know Ryan Reynolds was greenlit. like one of the people that were pushing super hard for this movie to get yeah. greenlit. So that's why it was like ten years or something that he's wanted. Yeah, to that's and that's why the thing out there is that like some people even say like Ryan Reynolds and his own team like leak that. I wouldn't doubt it. He'd do something just, like that. Just to get, just to get the um, popular opinion on it. Just to see if, if, if it was shit, then people would say this is shit. But if people liked it, then maybe they could, you know, push, or, uh, coerce Fox into actually making the movie. Yeah, they had nothing to lose. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah. And, then, and then when the movie was made, you know, so many people, they already had a big, um, almost like a big guaranteed showing from a whole bunch of people that willing, wanting to go see this movie. Because... It was almost kind of built up from the ground. It was hyped up from the ground up, right? And I think if Venom did, if Venom, it looks like Venom's doing pretty good in the series. It is doing good, yeah. So probably next version, that the next uh, sequel they come out, it might just be Radar. It might be... Uh, well, if they do Carnage, which I don't know for sure if they are or not, <laughs> but that should be Rated R. <laughs> But then that was what everybody was saying about Venom. If they're going to do a Venom movie, you should yeah, like Carnage is like way more extreme than yeah. for Venom. So. Yeah, so that movie will probably, I would, I would say it's a good chance that could be rated R. Or they do, you know, the Spider-Man uh, uh, crossover of Venom because they're in the same universe. Yeah. I think if they put Spider-Man in it, they, they're not going to make it R. Yeah, if it's Carnage, it's rated R. If it's Spider-Man, in it, it's not going to be rated R. I think that would be the good uh, indicator. For the next Venom, whenever that's made. Well, but they're saying, yeah, this one, basically, Tom Hardy's a pretty good Eddie Brock. He probably made the movie. That's yeah. what everybody said. Yeah. The one description I heard about the movie is that it's kind of like good cop, bad cop. Yeah, Tom Ven- Hardy. yeah Venom and yeah. Uh, Tom Hardy are like the good cop, bad cop. Yeah. It's a no, I, I, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I need to go see it. Still. Buddy cop, yeah, sim- symbiote it. movie. There's this uh, really good buddy cop movie, Nice Guys. Have anyone yeah, 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 Nice Guys. Yeah, also. That, yeah, one, that one's a very good. Set in the Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
He's actually a really funny guy. Yeah, yeah, very slapstick jokes, but it was hilarious. It was good. I like that scene where he screamed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he sees that. Yeah. <laughs> I love the, uh, the dream yeah, sequence. that clipping. They should have a lot more movies where Ryan Gosling is just screaming. Yeah. <laughs> well, he started as like a comedy kind of actor. Well, well I, I started from Breaker, Breaker High. High. Yeah, and, then, and then, then Hercules. Comic right? relief. And young, yeah, Adventures young, of Young Hercules. Young Hercules, yeah. That didn't last, but... <laughs> but then he became he a still got two or two, heartthrob two actor then. But, yeah, because um, he went... He notebook. Notebook. Yeah, yeah, that was huge. Should have just screamed in the notebook. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember he was in uh, Remember the Titans. He was in Remember the Titans. He's also in another comedy movie. Yeah. was uh, Crazy Stupid Love or something with Steve Carell and uh, Emma Stone. That was more recent than the rest of it. Yeah, but I mean, like, mm-hmm. he, yeah. if you want to see him be... He's not that much funny, that funny in that one, but it's still like an overall comedy movie. So, but yeah, nice guys. He's like nice guys. Nice guys. He was, nice like guys, he was a physical a, comedy. There's this one movie where he was like a fish on the fucking ground. He was so out of his element, and it was like this movie where he's just in Thailand and he just fights a lot. It's uh, like on back or something. No, it's not. On back. <laughs> no, no, no. Ryan like, Gosling, oh, what? Yeah, Ryan Gosling. When it is, and he's just some guy in Thailand that just fights people or some shit. Is he the one fighting? He's the one fighting, yeah. And then, Ryan Gosling yeah, yeah, yeah. in an action movie? Well, he did drive. It was something like yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he did drive. He did Blade Does Runner. Does drive yeah, count as an action did. movie? This one, well, the, Somewhat, yeah. the movie where he was in Thailand, well, it was definitely count as an action movie. What Some, year are we talking about, bro? Ah, uh, God, I don't know. Sometime, a couple of years back. Can't be too far. But yeah, that he was completely not in his element. It was just flopping on the ground. I've never heard of this yeah, movie. Yeah, no, he has a lot of uh, movies that have been, like, not so well received. But the last few, like, last few years, ever since, um, I think, Drive is the one that really kind of... Notebook got him heart, heart throb status, but then I think after Drive is when he got, like, superstar status, you know. I remember watching Drive. I watched Drive on the airplane, and I don't think that... Or, or did it much justice because you know I'm dead tired and I'm just watching that movie yeah. and yeah I don't know if it was maybe I should rewatch it because I think it was, or maybe I was just too hyped up and I was just like kind of you have to more. watch it for what it is right like you can't just I, and he did a good job as as the character he was playing so I'm looking up the movie because I, I don't know it was, I'm curious. It was an alright movie, but if you were looking for a driving movie, well, I'm actually looking up the Ryan Gosling Thailand movie. <laughs> oh, the Thailand. It's movie. 2013. It's called Only God Forgives. Right. Is it that? Do you remember it? Do I don't remember. I remember the title. I don't. I remember watching. Oh, the fuck! That movie was kind of bad. Yeah. It says, here's the little quick summary or whatever the description. In Thailand, a drug trafficker. That's Ryan Gosling's. Uh, I see mother Kristen St- Scott Thomas. I don't know who that is sends him on a mission to avenge his older brother who was killed for beating an underage prostitute to death. Yeah, that's definitely a Ryan Gosling movie. Right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's him to a T. <laughs> He's got to beat that prostitute. Only God forgives, okay. I'll, that I'm was given a 40% yeah, on Rotten Tomatoes. I don't you no. should check it out. No, I, <laughs> if I like the actor, I will go see the bad movie just to see where they fucked up and why. Was it his fault or was it just the movie was... Well, no, that's like my uh, my cousin or a friend that was gonna watch pretty much all of was it Matt Damon's movies, and then they reached. He was the one in Liberace, right? He was in what? Liberace. Was that Matt Damon was in Liberace? It was him or some other? I I'll Google it with that for now. I'll correct myself after I Google it. But anyways, they reached that, and they're just like, I'm gonna stop here. <laughs> 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 they couldn't continue <laughs> that was too much if I want to continue loving this guy and his work I gotta stop watching I, this I must movie. stop now <laughs> it's a roadblock eh? oh god I'm googling it right now just to make sure alright meanwhile can... while he go- googles uh you want to did you see that uh the... it was by the way oh, <laughs> Michael it was. Douglas oh, was oh, in yeah, it, it was it was the brush anyways <laughs> yeah. um yeah. I guess we'll do a I'll, we'll do an episode uh, much closer to the midterm elections for the United States. But when so, is that, by the way? It's in November. Oh, okay. So, like starting. Mm-hmm. You won't is be here. Isn't it? Like that. Is it the, start in November. I think. Oh fuck! What is it? Isn't, isn't it like, like the first second week of November? Yeah, it's really close to start in November. Why is um, every state have a different um, 
like difference in uh, registration for voting? Like, why can't they all do it the same? Because they're all states, man. They're all different states. That's why. <laughs> well, the way the U.S. is, it's not like it's not like a, a country where everything's divided into provinces, right? With a, like a, a more pronounced central government. They are fifty states. You know, kind of just. Rooming with each other, I guess. Mashed together, basically. Yeah. No. Well, yeah. Technically, they're. It's like they 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 have to keep up some kind of like you can call it a facade or just some kind of a flavor of them being individual states. Of course, the U.S. They have a federal government that that is more powerful than all the states and keeps them together. But the states themselves like to have that little flavor of their their own, you know. Their own history, their own culture, and their own rules and shit like that. So they have different rules for everything. Some states have death penalties. Some states don't. Some states allow you to smoke weed. Some states don't. You know, stuff shit it's like a, that. It's like the Seven Kingdoms in Game of Thrones. Like they're all separate kingdoms, except but then they're less all still, still ruled. By yeah, like one. Joffrey. Yeah, if Joffrey yeah. was president of the United States, you know, like. You got all you, get, you know, like Tywin Lannister in fucking Texas or. Maybe Massachusetts. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if he's a Boston man. Wait, before I we get like far this. from that, who's the who makes a better leader, Donald Trump or uh, Joffrey? I would uh, say probably Donald Trump. Okay. <laughs> you don't want Joffrey. I would. Uh, yeah. I would probably. I feel like Joffrey wasn't even leading. It's all his advice. No, was. yeah, he was. He was. He was ba- basically a puppet for Tywin, right? But yeah. even then, Joffrey would get unhinged and shoot prostitutes and shit like that. Well, we don't know that Trump hasn't. <laughs> I I think it's safe to say that I think it's safe to say Trump is basically like just imagine Donald Trump in Game of Thrones and that's what he's like. Donald He'd Trump dead. <laughs> Donald <laughs> Trump is like Joffrey's wackadoodle uncle or something like that. Yeah, he's it's like messed up, but not really. He would be actually he would be a quite an interesting character if he was in Game of Thrones. If Game of Thrones had Donald Trump as a character. <laughs> He came up through the, uh, he came up, you know, he came up through doing real estate at King's Landing. I have the best dragon. Right? <laughs> no, no. Yeah. How's this for an idea, HBO? <laughs> you want to buy it off of us? Like, <laughs> or steal it. Or steal it. Ver- like, Varys. Just give us credit. Littlefinger, they would all suck his dick. He was like, oh, sir, Trump, you know. <laughs> what? Are you sure? They'd oh. get dirt on him so fast. Yeah, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't just, matter it's though. It's just like real life. They have so much dirt on him, and he's the, he's in per, he's in, <laughs> he's in power. power. Yeah, but they could just kill him off. They like off the needles, like, the needle of fate of Trump well, doesn't move regardless of the. Well, they didn't kill him off here, so you know he he, he survived. <laughs> I think it's easier to kill people in Game of Thrones world, though. It is in the real world. Not if you have been a celebrity game show host in King's Landing. <laughs> What's the equivalent of a game show host in uh, Game of Thrones world? I don't know. The is guy that a higher jester? Is that better or worse the than a jester? Fool out, he, he does like The Apprentice, but out on like the city square, the mm-hmm. town square. He's like the one that announces hangings and stuff. <laughs> You're fired, and they actually light the guy on fire. <laughs> oh, this guy's good! <laughs> You're hung. Yeah, yeah. The townspeople are totally behind. Yeah, so I don't know. He would be his own character. I, I it's, it's sad to say, but I think he would, he would have survived longer than Ned Stark in, 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 in King's Landing. Do you think if Donald Trump ever listens to this podcast, he might make that show on his own oh, TV we, we, channel that he's trying to station? We'd all probably be dead if he listened to this. Or he could be like, "That's an awesome idea." Who are these I'm fools? Kill them! Kill them all! <laughs> it's gonna be the instead of Game of Thrones, it's gonna be the Trump of Thrones or something like that. That would be a show. We're, we're witnessing it right now. Then. <laughs> well, Trump of Thrones, right? In now. case now that he's fucked up real life, maybe he wants to fuck up, you know, our favorite pastimes as well by creating a fucked up show. Did you ever watch his uh, Apprentice show? Uh not that much. I never. Donald Trump was never on my radar, really. I think there was a class. Like, oh my god. Like a half-assed instructor, or teacher, I should say, in my high school at the time. I think it was some of their assignments to actually watch The Apprentice. Oh god, no. Money, 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 money! I never had that class, but I heard that was what they had to do. I mean, I... It's not like I hadn't heard of Donald Trump, but I never, I never really paid attention to him. He was in Home Alone too. Yeah. He seemed nice there. I knew he was like a big, you know pseudo celebrity he was the billionaire that made cameos in movies and had his own show where he was a billionaire that fired people (laughs) he was also on wwf at the time oh yeah oh my god yeah and then 
And then he submitted Vince McMahon after he took that risk. <laughs> he fucking hit him with a chair. <laughs> Yeah, Matt is the president of the United States. He hasn't released his taxes, so we don't know for sure if he's a billionaire. Oh, dude, it doesn't. Lot, it yeah. doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter at this point. <laughs> he's in. He's in so hard now. He doesn't even need money. He's got power. Before the elections, when it wasn't sure if he was going to be president or not, when everybody was betting on Hillary, uh, most of the economists back then were like saying, like, at most, he's worth like what, maybe five hundred million or something. So. Okay, but okay. Even if even if it, this were so, how does it really affect? Why should it affect the election results at all? If he has no money, or if he does have money? No, I'm not saying it doesn't affect the. It shouldn't. It should affect the election results. I'm just saying that it's another. Him saying he's a billionaire is just one another one of his lies. His made up, fake truth or what alternate facts or truth whatever. <laughs> he still made it in. Though. I know he made it in. <laughs> uh, I'm not saying. That that would have just been the straw that broke the camel's back. The camel's, the camel's back. back. The camel the being back. his fucking election campaign. Having no chairs is like killing me. <laughs> My legs keep falling asleep. <laughs> you want you want to? Nope, I'm good. We keep going. We've keep going. Let's talk attacks. about something more interesting than my legs. Okay. All right. So, uh, yeah, uh, we'll we'll probably talk more about that shit when the mid when those midterm elections come, but. Uh, they have a lot of predictions out there anyways, and everybody's getting in on the game of predicting stuff. I'm not, I don't, I don't know, I, I think they may be right, they may be wrong, I don't know. Alright, set your calendars, uh, listeners, for our verbal laxative midterm election. Yeah, yeah, after yes. it happens. I'll probably, I'll, I'll say this though, my own opinion, it does not even matter if the Republicans lose the House or not. I don't think he... He still might get elected in 2020. Uh, you know, because like uh, the big thing that his opponents are saying is that if the Democrats ho- get the House, then they can possibly impeach him. There's no way this guy's going to get fucking impeached. I, th- I think every- that's just a pipe dream that everybody just has, that he's going to get impeached. This It's not going to happen. But at the same time, it's kind of funny uh, because it's not even a Democrat versus Republican sort of deal anymore the republican party is a zombie party is a dead it's like a dead party the only reason they they would they are getting numbers is from trump himself so that's like these people basically only have a job because of that guy and he can bring in the numbers and yet they hate him but they love him you know love hate between all those guys over there it's it's a it's 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 quite it's you know it's like a stockholm syndrome you know you know when the hostage starts to love the hostage taker? Mm-hmm. That's kind of what the Republican Party is like to Trump right now. Can I get a girl that way? Yes, you can. <laughs> that's not. That's. Uh, it's, it's not ideal, but you know. It's a movie, <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. No, I won't do that. Just for the record. I don't know if I got picked up. This is all admissible evidence <laughs> in court. <laughs> Did I include the part where I said I'm not I was being do sarcastic? It. I wasn't saying that I would get a girl that way. I'm just saying Jason should not get a girl that way. I'm going on the record saying that. Okay, I will not do this then. Good. Thank you for your advice. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good dating section. Oh dear God, our show should never have a dating section. <laughs> Um, have you seen Haunting of Hill House? It's on Netflix, right? Yeah. It's the I horror. Seen it. It's a horror drama. I heard it wasn't that good Is it a though. Netflix original or is it something? Uh, Netflix original, yeah. It's by, uh, Mike Flanagan. He's oh. done, um, a couple of horror movies. Um, Oculus, Gerald's yeah. Game. And, uh, he's given a TV series. Or, I guess, a Netflix series. Ten episodes. Um, so he was able to expand the story a little bit longer. Um, his style is very prominent in this series um really well done slow burn so seems like a lot of uh good reviews some people really liked it uh i don't know i i don't know i haven't, I haven't heard good things about it i probably won't watch it because though because the horror is not my genre yeah it's not mine either no not mine either well that was dead in the water <laughs> <laughs> i mean i've like no, not a horror as in that kind of horror but like suspense works suspense works well well 
the challenge with horror is I feel like it gets grouped that grouped in by a lot of different things. Like for example, we we used to have like saw movies, right? And that was like the torture porn. Yeah. And you would you would yeah. categorize it as a horror movie. Yeah. But then before that, we used to have like monster or slasher movies. Yeah. And that gets categorized. Like, yeah. aliens, monsters get categorized as horror. And then you had, like, the Japanese ghost, like, the school kid and stuff. And that gets classified as horror. So horror, when you think of it, is a very broad category. So when people are saying you're not into horror, it's, like, hard to understand that just because, like, there's, it includes so many things. Yeah, right? but I, horror I, usually has some common themes in it where they have, like, you know, like, the jump scare or whatever, right? Or the, the suspense leading up to something that's supposed to give you, like, that. You know, that's that feeling of fear, you know, like, yeah, which is kind of different from, I, I guess you could say there's differences between a thriller and a horror, but the horror, pretty much all the movies that I have classified as horror has dealt, has that in it. But that, even with some horror, like, say, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, that it kind of has some of the action. It was not really horror. Yeah, no, like, it's more calm, dark calm. It, 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 it's, it's, it specifically has those, like, elements in it. Mm-hmm. Well, it's not, I'm, I'm just I'm just trying to think like if any other horror movies have you watched uh, Penny Dreadful? No, is that the clown? It's, no, no, it's uh it's basically um, all the old timey horror stuff like Frankenstein and uh, Invisible Man and John and what's his name Dorian Gray, the guy who looks at the picture and he gets younger and his picture gets older and all that stuff. Oh, okay, yeah. So they took all those stories and they made it like a TV show out of them. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was only three seasons, but it was like a slow burn. I, I like that kind of horror, like, you know. Okay. You might like Haunting of Hill House. It's a very slow burn Yeah. style. Yeah. I'll say I like, I do like uh, some supernatural uh, themes I do like. And one movie that comes to mind was Constantine. I did like Constantine because um, it was very... Like, it, I would only even think it would be a horror movie. It would be, like, the very bare bones of if there was any, like, jump-up scares or anything. Yeah, that's Just very, movie, that's very close to, like... Movie, movie. Well, Keanu, Keanu Reeves in it. Yeah. Like, maybe <laughs> one or two scenes that had that kind of shit. But mostly, it was just... It was just, like, a heaven versus hell sort of deal. Yeah. Wasn't that based on the DC, Constantine? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, like, I enjoyed that. Yeah, it's yeah. Based, just like the TV That's show, That's, man. like, very borderline to, like, Underworld, almost. Well, yeah, Underworld's not horror. Yeah, I like that's horror. <laughs> no, Underworld is just jump scares mostly. Well, it's action. not really it's jump, not jump scares. It's more action. Okay? More action. Yeah. Yeah. action. action. Thriller? Like, action thriller? Yeah. Dark, yeah, that works. Horror I, action. I mean, like, you can have fucking vampires, you can have werewolves and not be a horror movie. And Underworld <laughs> Twilight. Is, yeah, <laughs> Twilight, there's nothing it's at all. It's scary in a different way. Yeah. It's scary in how it's bad. Scary how well, bad. sometimes it's funny, like... Who like who categorize these right? Like if you like Netflix, something when you type in horror, yeah. you do get shows that aren't horror. Yeah, like uh, Warm Bodies or something like that. Yeah, you know? Warm Bodies is a comedy zombie movie with like um, it's about a girl who falls in love with a zombie. And the zombie's not really a zombie because he still has some of his like. He comes. He becomes a human he, at the end. He, he, yeah, he's something like that. He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a zombie. <laughs> he's a zombie who basically, if she loves him enough, he'll turn human or something. Like yeah, it wasn't uh, horror at all. I think I watched it a long time ago, but yeah, it was. It's not very good. But Penny Dreadful, I think you guys might all like it because it doesn't really fall into the like, horror category of like you know jump scares. And yeah, just... I, that was on my radar a while back. I was gonna watch it, but I... and it's three seasons, only twenty seven episodes, because they had like that's really long. That's like uh, they had nine and then ten and then eight or something like that, or it was eight and ten and then nine, some. So literally, like less than thirty episodes, you can be done in less than thirty hours, mm. and it's an awesome, it's an awesome series. What's a good show for me to download and watch on a plane? The Expanse. Uh, like, like you want to finish <laughs> it? Go back you want to this. finish it too, or uh, it's not necessary to finish it, but like something I'll just grab my attention that I want to keep watching. You know, the next episode. Penny Every Dreadful. airplane movie that involves a crash. Okay. Can I watch air? Oh, I should watch Airplane on the airplane. Yeah, watch Airplane on the airplane. Isn't Sully also about plane crashes? Yeah, I watch Sully too. Isn't does it technically not crash though? He lands it in the, yeah, the crash lands landing. It lands in the Hudson. It's, it, well, it's a crash landing in the yeah. Hudson. Okay. If your wheels aren't up, you're crash landing. But now that we've been talking <laughs> if about your it, wheels if your wheels aren't, aren't down, <laughs> okay. if your wheels aren't down, it's a crash landing. Penny Dreadful, definitely. I would say. It, like I was saying, gonna because right now what's on my list is you know from stuff on netflix the new season of archer and we watch that on the plane yeah new season of bojack horseman yeah 
and I'm gonna watch Nightmare Before Christmas on it just because it's around Halloween, and I usually watch. It's like a tradition for me to watch that around Halloween. Ooh. So that should have you covered then, anyway. Uh, that's a long flight, though. I don't know. If I yeah, can. but you'll be sleeping. Oh, yeah, the night. I can't sleep on long flights yeah. though. Why don't oh, you watch some like uh, travel shows on Japan so you know where the fuck you want to go? Nah, screw it. I'm yeah. gonna wing it. Wing it. Have Do you it watched uh, Big Mouth? That. Oh yeah, Big yeah. Mouth there's a new good. season of that. Yeah, Maybe I'll get that too. Big Mouth. Big that, Mouth. That's too. pretty funny. I like it. I was having trouble starting that show because it was so yeah, it, it was so hard, strange. It was hard way. to get into, but once you're into it, like um, yeah, I'm fine with like crude humor and everything. Yeah. But starting off that show, like the first three episodes or so, I was like, uh, I don't know if I want to keep watching. You gotta keep going. <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's a few key characters that are the yeah, best. I, I finished show. the first season. Marty, you haven't finished it. Uh, no, I finished the first season. Yeah, the first season. Okay. You got the hormone monster. He says some crazy shit sometimes. Mm-hmm. And then you got Marty, which is uh, fucking the guy with the glasses, Andrew's dad, oh, the, yeah, the Jewish yeah, right. guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you got a uh, Jay, their their friend. Yeah, he's the says, one, the he's... one who fucks pillows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, he thinks he's yeah. a forty year old yeah. magician. Yeah, he's pretty. Yeah, those three. They're basically, they're pretty good. Um, yeah, I, I would just watch a show with those three guys alone. <laughs> The, the gym teacher is pretty weird, too. Oh, well. yeah, Coach yeah. Steve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four of them. I've watched a show about the four of them. Doesn't, like, Nick Kroll voice, like... He even voices most, most of them. them. He voices yeah. Hormone Monster, uh, Coach Steve, and Nick, the kid. But, yeah, there you go. You got ten hours worth... No, you don't have ten hours. No, it's it's ten episodes. Well, I got three got different shows. Hours. <laughs> yeah, I got three other different shows. <laughs> How long is the flight? It's You're like going from here straight to Japan? Or like no, that. I gotta go to... San Fran. Oh, Jesus Christ. And I think the one of the other flights is Vancouver for the layover. Okay. But, yeah, whatever. That should be enough. Yeah, um, you should be enough. Right? That should be enough. It's fine. And then on the way back, just watch Penny Drive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll be losing sleep anyways, so... Yeah. Should get some sponsor money from Penny Dreadful at this point. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just started talking about horror. We should get sponsor and- money from Netflix. We just, like, talked about, like, what... Three at least of their shows, three for, or four. For me, at the top of my horror list is Penny Dreadful and Hannibal. So that's why I mean we touched on both of those. So that's why I was like pretty. Are we theming this because it's close to Halloween? Well, I don't know how we ended up. There oh, I'll be go- I'll be I'll be gone for Halloween. So um, Sorry. you could do a special Halloween episode. The fuck Ooh, teaser. I don't know. I don't know. I'll talk about something scary and. <laughs> 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 Trump is president. I just ruined it. I know you're not going to do it now. <laughs> now that I mentioned it, it's no, not going to happen. No, I it probably wasn't going to happen anyway because we haven't ever done a podcast with just the two of us. Oh so. uh, well, it's going to be we're going to have a third guest. Okay. Or even more guests than that. I don't know. Fucking a guest will be the <laughs> guest of the guest. <laughs> oh, you could always have those kids that ring your doorbell. No, fuck be that, like right. that's that's terrible. Idea. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the traitors! Oh, that'd no. be so annoying. <laughs> Universally panned. I don't even think idea. you're gonna get trick or treaters. Yeah, I hope not. This this, oh, there was that thing that. So this was mentioned by a coworker that kids in school aren't. Allowed to, or specific schools, I should say. Mm -hmm. So, this kid in particular goes to a Catholic school, Mm -hmm. and the kid's mom works with us. And she was telling us that they're not allowed to dress up for Halloween at school. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking a lot of kids came dressed as Satan, so then the Catholic school principal is just like, No, I I, I can't have this in my Catholic school. No, I think think it's regardless of what they dress up as, they just some school systems. There was a teacher who dressed her kid as Hitler. There was a teacher. Why would the teacher dress up? That's right. She that? probably ruined it for everyone. <laughs> she hates his kid or her kid. Hey, dog. How do I get my own kid beat up? <laughs> She's a neo Nazi and just like trying to bring him back. Wouldn't it be funny if she wasn't neo Nazi at all? She's like a super progressive person. She thought it'd be, you yeah. know, it'd be nice to dress as Charlie Chaplin when you. <laughs> <laughs> if just, Charlie Chaplin in a, was in the military. In a Hugo yeah. Boss uniform. <laughs> With some stiff, stiff elbows. Yes, we have to put a bandage on his <laughs> arm. <laughs> With this nice little red and black pattern. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wonderful pattern. No, I think, this pa- I think this symbol means peace or something like that. Right? Yeah, so I read it was a Buddhist symbol. Anyways, this costume is going to be the best for Halloween. Where did you get your uh, education degree from? <laughs> <laughs> But anyways, are you okay with like 
them not letting kids dress up for Halloween? Like, I thought that was pretty I outrageous. Don't, I don't uh, care either way. Like, I yeah, none of us. But know, I, I like the I like Halloween, so I wanted to like be more popular because it seems to be dying down in a lot yeah. of places. So that's why I'm like somewhat well, having issues with that. Halloween is kind of transform, right? It's more of an adult holiday than for the children. See, I, In a way, yeah. But, I, would, I would ask you the opposite of that. If kids come to your place without a costume, would you still give them candy without being like, oh, why aren't you dressed up? Blah, blah, blah. Well, I live in a condo, so I've never got trick or treaters. No, but, but if you did. Okay. Repeat your question. I wasn't like, paying if attention. The ki- if the kids came trick or treating without costumes. Right. Would you be all like, oh, why aren't you dressed up? Blah, blah, blah. Why aren't you... I just you still give them candy. Yeah, I mean, come I'll on. give They're... them worse candy. I'll give them like the freaking one pez. So then, see, you have a bias there too. Then yeah, but it's on Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I'm I mean, judging you on your costume. Yeah, you get better candy based on your costume. It's good incentive. But they're still bearing the cold, right? I feel like they deserve something. They yeah, deserve something they get a piece of pez. I'm not talking one whole dispenser or one sleeve. They just one pez. Was, well, I understood that. Pez, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't have much of an opinion on that either way. Like, it's. Do you normally do anything on Halloween? Yeah, I mean, if we have our lights on and stuff, and if kids come down, we have some candy. You gonna hit but the clubs or never, anything? We've never, dude. I <laughs> me, I'm way past club age, man. Don't tell people that you're still hip. <laughs> Yes, guys, I'm 42 years old. The guy listening to this just throws down and says, What? <laughs> <laughs> Great. I was going to call him for a drink. <laughs> yeah, no. Are you going to go to the clubs in in Japan? I'm going to hit up, I heard going to sh- um, Shibuya. I or isn't it Shinjuku? I heard both oh. are actually quite lively. Like People are just out on the streets. Like Tons of people dressed up and everything. And So I'm going to do that. Okay. So... If that counts as something. I wonder how they, how Japan even picked up Halloween. I don't know. There are some countries that don't celebrate it. but They, picked, you... up, they picked up Halloween from America. That's what <laughs> everybody got. From... From... Fuck, uh, they've never celebrated uh, Halloween before. What do you want to dress up as? Do you In have the funeral age? pick up something random there. I could just get a mask there somewhere. Like, just something simple. I'm not going to do anything elaborate, because screw that. But Hold up, I can't remember if you were allowed to wear a mask. You're not allowed to wear a mask. There's you should some just wear... country I remember you can't wear a mask in public. I don't know. You should wear a hockey mask. I think Japan and go should be Jason. Okay. <laughs> I, should, I think it's... Japan should be okay, but you should just do a quick Google search and make sure you're, that they allow it. Well, whatever. What are they going to do? Arrest a masked man? <laughs> on the <laughs> Gun you down on the street. <laughs> There's so many people, they can't risk yeah, that. Yeah, just shoot the gaijin. That's what, that's what will happen. The masked gaijin. They won't even be able to. I don't that. know what that means. Oh, that's... Maybe um, dress up as a canvas leaf. Because, you know, they're against drugs. I'm not going to do that. Dress up as... <laughs> oh, cool. shit. I guess we should... Yeah, okay. So Canada legalized pot. Yeah. Very recently. Yes. What do you guys think about that? It's a long lineup to buy legalized pot. Did you, I don't, yeah. did you line up? Brian no. will never smoke pot ever <laughs> in his life. Um, no, not smoke, but edibles. I'd be interested in. You'd go straight to edibles? I think edibles is healthier. Like, See, I don't want to put yo, stuff in your mouth. They're stronger. I have like well, six fucking hours. You could do a lower dose. and You could do a lower dose. To... How the fuck will you know what's a lower dose? I wouldn't. I would oh have to. Oh my god. I would have to trust no, it. No, it lasts a lot longer and it's a lot stronger if you ingest it. If you but it's, it. it's healthier than putting stuff in your lungs, isn't it's, it? It doesn't... <laughs> It's, it's like negligible almost. If you're if you're just trying it for the first time, it doesn't matter if you smoke it, if you if you eat it. I like my lungs, being virgin. Oh, okay. What? Well, oh, well, no, whatever. Virgin lungs. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right term. I mean, I don't that doesn't sound right. right. No, no, no it's it never taken a breath into your. It is virgin lungs. But actually, you know what? I okay. want to see you on edibles. I want to see. I you think edibles, edibles wouldn't be bad. Yeah, I no. I want to see you high on your fucking mind. <laughs> Are you gonna? Do something. I like think. That, then? No, no, oh, I don't know. Maybe it's legal now. You, you could well, record it. Might, well, <laughs> might be good for a listen. Yeah, you know what? Next, you know what? Next week, bring some edibles and we'll just record the whole podcast like this. If I can get through the lineup. Okay, sure. Find <laughs> online. Didn't people have just been way too excited about it? Like, um, just yesterday, the police issued a a ticket to someone driving while smoking. Yeah, six hundred thirty-two dollars. Yeah. It's just like people are just like. 
you still have to follow the rules. Just yeah. because it's legalized, it's just like liquor. Just because it's legal doesn't mean you can drink while driving. Oh, yeah, that's thing. pretty obvious. That's the same thing with the... That dude probably already spoke. Bef- before it was legalized, he was already doing that. I have a few friends, you know who you are, that already fucking do that. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just saying. Like, the same friends that probably, probably will... But now the police Brian will have... To get, Brian will need to get his weed from... <laughs> now, now the police has the technology and yeah. the rule, the laws and stuff. But it's also up to the people. Like, just because it's legalized, you shouldn't be going out celebrating it, like, that crazily. You know? Yeah, you should you should drink and... In moderation. Well, don't and, be stupid yeah, about like, it. It's exactly. Be responsible, right? Don't That's be the idea. That's right. Don't be obnoxious yeah. about that shit. Like, good for you. Like, you want it legalized? It's legalized. That's good. But, like, you don't have to, you know go all crazy about it ironically that's what some of the stoners were actually complaining about it they're like oh fuck now you're gonna get a whole bunch of like just a bunch of Bad fucking way. nerds yeah just a bunch of guys just fucking doing it all. well I know they're complaining because it's more expensive I think you had a friend or something that mentioned that yeah well the prices, the price yeah he was complaining the because the prices that you can buy now no it's just right now the production is definitely not keeping up right mm. they sold out at least in the physical stores, they've sold out within like within opening on the first yeah, day. Yeah, people are lining up. So so and plus, you know, the growers they're they're not they're not all one hundred percent set up, and they're all producing it at capacity or whatever. So of course, prices are going to be up a little bit. Plus, demand, right? So mm-hmm. yeah, is, it's it's like thirteen whatever dollars for a, per gram or something like that. Is it legal now to grow it? You can have four. It's like a four plants. Four, 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 four plants, plants in their yeah. house. So if you live with like four roommates, then you can have like 16 plants. You can have... <laughs> or 20, uh, you can have... Uh, is it per person? I thought it was household. It's per person, I heard. Four per person, four plants. I'm not sure. I don't know. You can There's going to be a loophole for that. That's just growing. I, I think it's a like, household. It can no, be a per That's person. just for growing plants. You right. can have as much weed at home already pre Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Process, yeah. Process, yeah. One of the big things is they're giving pardons yeah, for people that were arrested for... Uh, small possession like small amounts well they should but yeah but they are doing that though yeah yeah well now that it's in effect or now that's legal and small amounts are legal to have on you so yeah or well inside your house you can have as much as you want you can have a stockpile okay so, but okay here's the question though what do you think what do you think the effects what do you think will be the effects in the long run it's gonna it, smell more it, that's the there's there's a fear of that like cities smelling like yeah. weed all the time because it's legal i hate that smell what do you think about like like the crime oh uh, who decriminalize the crime for sure well you would expect like the crime, crime to crime decrease. rates yeah you would like, expect you a decrease in the broader pic- broader picture you know this whole war on drugs that the that is that is championed by the u.s and i think in the long run there might be even less people smoking it just because the fa- for like from what I understand, f- teenagers who smoke and stuff, it's mostly because it is an illegal substance. It's something that you know you're not allowed to have. Something that your parents don't want you to have. Something that is cool because it's not exactly legal. But now that it's legal, I think that m- might wear off. I don't know because you still got kids that smoke and shit and drink and do it like it's, it's probably it's the same the numbers won't change but the people that do smoke weed they do it because they just fucking yeah they love well, they're gonna weed. do it anyways <laughs> right so. no but like the people who just want to jump on the bandwagon kind of thing you know like just because there'll be less peer pressure about it i guess they're probably not gonna if they're if they weren't smokers before they're yeah. probably not gonna they're adopt not gonna start it now just they might try well, it yeah i think people will try it so you might get new people that like oh they try it but you like it but the thing with trying now is that you're trying in a safer environment right yeah. one is legal and the other one is that because it's legal the potency can be smaller like when it was illegal it's harder to buy like a weaker dosage yeah Right. Yeah, you don't. You kind of don't know. It's just up to you. You yeah, gotta know. To your dealer. Right? Exactly. It's up to your dealer. But now you have professionals or like store managers or whatever yeah. selling it to you, so you can you can get a smaller dosage. The other thing I think would increase is the research opportunity. Yeah, definitely research and uh, the research and investment that would go into this. Now that it's legal, you can potentially get a whole bunch of custom made stuff like to your custom specifications, basically. Yeah. Which. My stoner friend would argue, you know who he is, um, that you could do that. They could do that before. There was a lot of varieties before. You can get stuff that would 
feel good or ease pain or if you wanted just more THC, you it just fucked your brain. You know, like you, you just get the fucking stuff. But it wasn't legal to study it in that amount of time. No, quantity. well, it was, the people would study it, but then you're not going to get like, you know, it's still, it's still like, it's still like you got to get it from dealer and it's, it's his customization, right? It's, and you'd have to take his word for yeah, it. Yeah, but this, this is not like peer review, white paper style. Of course not. And it's also not, it doesn't have that like big centralized. Yeah, you're right peer-reviewed or whatever like this proper experimented and and custom designed uh you know like uh varieties i think it'd be even you can get even more potent stuff now you can get it very specifically tailored to what you would want yeah you could also get more medical research and stuff cause yeah it helps yeah. a lot of people with i think several different i think in the medicine side it will be yeah, a huge be, benefit yeah, yeah definitely i think i think the price will average out and it'll be probably competitive I think it actually be competitive to before it was legalized, and also you're gonna get a lot better varieties. You're gonna get a whole bunch of new marketing now. Cause if you imagine what alcohol was like in the U.S. before it was before, uh, well, when prohibition ended, you can imagine you know like coming going from there, decades later to the present time, you can see you know like what alcohol it would evolve, the way they sell it, the way the different varieties like, right? You could, we could possibly see just. Just like, fucking, what what would you call like a uh, weed connoisseurs? That same thing they call like <laughs> wine wine tasters, right? And if some guy smokes it, and they'll be like, "This is a vintage, uh, 2000, 2001 from the BC Okanagan so, region." So you're saying you're saying they'll be ha- they'll have like, uh, well, I guess they wouldn't. The downside I could think of weed is traveling will be complicated. Just because like if you consume weed or whatever, and you're going to the states. They would just stop to you, right? Because it's still illegal on the federal well, side. Well, they already had that yes. issue just in the states itself, because certain states have it legal, others don't. Yeah. So no, that's why at airports no, they'd still confiscate it from you. Yeah. No international travel at all, especially in into any of these Asian countries. You can't have any weed on you at all, right? Yes. But if you think about it, if you ever have to travel to, let's just say, a Muslim country, it's basically the same thing. You can't bring alcohol over there, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, right. On the forums, you could bring it. You can bring a certain amount depending on how long you stay. So that on, so they don't serve countries. wine then. Or does Muslim country? Uh, they serve wine? wine until you reach the air- airspace. Yeah. Oh, okay. The bigger airlines. Like even the Arab, like uh, the UAE airlines, they'll serve you alcohol once they leave the airspace. Of the, but then the there country. are some some airlines of Muslim countries that won't sell, like Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia Saudi definitely airlines won't. will not sell regardless of where the destination. Ge- is. And you don't want to fuck around in Saudi Arabia. They will chop you up to pieces <laughs> after they call you to their embassy, <laughs> which they recently <laughs> did. That, it, right now it's like it's like Tony Soprano's running that fucking country. Oh, we're talking about that that one dude that died. Oh yeah, yeah. Like I, that, that's pretty. That like this is not even. This is what you hear from like a fucking like a mob movie, right? If a yeah. country does this, it's pretty scary. Like I don't. That's, yeah, wasn't he like? That's the place where you get your fucking v- travel visas, man. And now you go, <laughs> you go there, you get get chopped up. Because he was trying meat. to marry his like new wife or something. No, right? dude, 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 dude. Huh? You know, it's a political reason why they, they didn't give a shit that he wanted. <laughs> <marry him. laughs> it wasn't like a love that, triangle. No, no, kind no. Of this is all political. That no, dude just went on Saudis. It's a it's a Muslim country. You're allowed like a dozen wives if you want I don't think the wife thing was an issue no it wasn't it wasn't a wife it wasn't fucking it wasn't just because of the woman no it was because of the guy uh fuck what's his name again Jamal something sorry Jamal K <laughs> fuck Haram something I no I'll, I'll search it up but basically uh he has beef with the Saudi crown prince Mohammed bin Salman MBS uh, he was a report. He also wrote opinion columns in the Washington Post. Right. So you know he's one of the report. Like he's one of the reporter. You know, like homies, right? Like they all the reporters are definitely writing a lot about the story because one of their own got fucking chopped up, and basically they called him into the embassy to I don't know for whatever reason, right? The crown prince does not like this dude. Basically, um, and he never came out. Yeah. Right. Saudi Arabia, I think the day before, they sent like 13 guys on a private plane into Turkey. This was all in Turkey. And, and they went to the embassy. Basically, this was like a fucking, this was a, a cleanup crew. They called them in and then they did shit. They, they killed them inside and then the crew left to the airport on the private planes they left on that same day. Right. 
And then they're like, oh, what happened to him, man? <laughs> you know, yeah, like, they, they, he, said, he, they said he left or something, right? Yeah, but like no camera, said, no, no camera all, had it. All the ca- it's in Turkey, right? So Turkey, yeah. Turkey had all the camera footage around the embassy. Saudi Arabia, the Saudis were like, yeah, well, I don't know. <laughs> what, what, what are you talking about? Is it Jamal? I've never heard They were even like, come in, take a look. So, like, they, Kashyogi, Kashyogi, <laughs> yeah, like so then they also like dragged Trump into this, right? They were, they were pleading to the U.S. Well, Trump is more like... Nah, I can't be there. You know, like, ah, you know. But I think, I think his latest tweet is saying, like, yeah, he's likely chopped up. And yeah, <laughs> well, he was like, you know, all over the place. He was like saying, yeah, if they, if they chopped up, that's bad. That would be pretty bad. And then later on, there's, you know, because they're selling, Canada is also selling uh, Saudi Arabia too, some armored vehicles. The U.S. is selling armored vehicles. Yeah. And they were, like, giving them, like, an interview saying, like, uh, oh, you know, in light of these revelations, are we still going to sell these armored vehicles? <laughs> And Trump was like, yeah, fuck, that's a, that's a lot of money, man. It's <laughs> business. Business as usual. Uh, I will tell you, it's a lot of money. It's a good deal. <laughs> I have the best monies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But at least he's, <laughs> at least he's on it. Because Trudeau said the exact same thing. He's like, oh, no, we'll keep on selling them our vehicles because it was a deal made before, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. You got to honor whatever, right? But anyways, yeah, so he, at least he's been honest about it. Yeah, it's for the fucking money. Right? You know, I'm going to get paid. But, um, so, 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 so the latest news around that, why they think they died, and this was, it was pretty gruesome. Um, they say that he knew that, uh, some shit might go down and his wife, well, his fiance uh, that he was trying to get married to was waiting outside the embassy, basically told her, if you don't hear from me, if I don't come out of this building, you have to go and, you know, like find the Turkish foreign minister or whatever, some guy, some Turkish guy in power, government official. Tell them what it would, uh, that I've never come out that I'm not coming out of this building and you get help. He yeah. never came out. She went to get. She went and did all. So that it's like a dead man's watch. So apparently he had his Apple Watch on recording during Ooh. this time. Apparently, this is what they're saying. It's nothing's confirmed yet, but some newspapers are saying this. Some Turkish intelligence is kind of confirming it and also not being really vague about it. Left his watch on. So there's an audio of him basically getting tortured by this hit team inside and then they apparently they cut him up they like decapitated him and then they cut him up into pieces and then put him in like fucking small bags and that team walked out what probably him Carry in on? the bags into got into the limo drove all the way to their pickup got in their private jets what left for Saudi back to Saudi Arabia in the same day how would you get through security? Like, here's my carry-on. It's diplomatic, basically. Uh, it dipl- they they drove in diplomatic plates. Yeah. Oh, it was diplomatic uh, um, affairs, so they got they there is no they security. went through. You just go drive yeah. up to your own jet and go back to your own country. Oh, well, I should get an Apple Watch. Yeah, in case it didn't, it didn't help the guy though. Well, it's still if it if this stuff is true, then they have like it would be like evidence. we would have to like be like what's Jason's iCloud password. To- Download his last cry for her. I think you can take it down to that. I'm sure they'll find a way. Yeah, you can Apple Watch before you go to Japan. Man. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have the money for that, so that's not going to happen. How much is an Apple Watch? Oh, God, it's a little bit too much. It's quite a bit. But to, to record the last right. moments of your potential, you know, yeah. it's priceless. It's priceless. Yeah, exactly. That's how Apple should totally sell their watches now. Yeah, that's how they should sell them. But dude, can you imagine, like, you, you, you're like, oh, man, I got to get a visa to go to this country to do tourism and shit and you find out like oh man some guy got chopped into fucking pieces there too yeah by the orders of the head of state do you think they're just gonna let this go no like, okay good <laughs> can you imagine this is, in the modern day you can't have a head of state ordering some guy to get hit like a fucking well, the guy from, hit well the prince doesn't seem too concerned he doesn't give a shit that's why he literally is just fucking balls to the wall he doesn't care because he is a prince he doesn't he's a yeah he's basically the de facto king because yes. they're saying the king right now uh, king, king Salman his father is just fucking uh, he might have dementia or something or yeah. he might have Alzheimer's he's basically running the show yeah right his, his dad's just a figurehead. All what's, he is in control of all the security apparatus, all the intelligence agencies. They all report to him. So he's just running the show. He's just a fucking... So what potentially could happen to the prince? Like Nothing. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> so we just, sure we'll just get mad at him. Yeah. Not, well, nothing. How, what are you going to do? Like, yeah. he, he's, the, the U.S. is in with him tight. Even before Trump came on, the U.S. is in with him yes. tight. Always been. I can imagine if it was Obama as president, he would still probably not do that much shit. Yeah. He would probably make a big 
fuss about it. Be like, oh, you can't do this stuff. Well, the United States does not condone these actions if these allegations were true. But I am confident that our allies, the Saudis, did not do this. Something like that. <laughs> they don't because we need their money. So it's basically. So we don't. You don't think we'll hear much about it. This is gonna die down. No. Uh, okay. It's there's a couple things about this, right? Like I don't think it'll just be die down as a fad because because the people that are most pissed off about this are reporters, right? Journalists. Because there's one of them, their own, that got fucking offed, right? So they're going to try to keep writing about this as much as possible. Yeah, right. But then there is another side of the... Um, on the other side, there's people that kind of want to hush it down because they're, they're, they're the people that are saying, you know what, I don't want to I don't wanna antagonize Saudi Arabia because I want to go to war with Iran. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's talk more about Iran. Let's not talk about the Saudi crown prince ordering some guy to get dismembered inside an embassy. I want to, you know, talk about those guys instead. So that's the only reason it would be probably sidestep. Right. But it's kind of hard because you know you got reporters basically defending their own now, basically. You know. Hmm. Well, we should wrap things up pretty soon here. Any right. last things you want to talk about? Ah, uh, let's end it on a high note before you know dismemberment and. What do you mean, like, high note? Like, high, high. <laughs> well, let's, let's, uh, You got something cheerful that you want to talk about, anybody? That's oh, cheerful. cheerful. <laughs> you're going to Japan. You're going on vacation. Yeah, let's, let's end it with your... Isn't that... In Japan, you'll be high. We already talked cheerful. about that last time, too, though. Yeah, but this one will be, like, right before your actual there's, trip, there's so... There's nothing to say. All right. Well, <laughs> I, I found... Um, well, I recently got the new iPhone. And they have Jesus that. Sc- <laughs> <laughs> okay. They have this uh, the screen time, the screen time logging. That's actually very interesting. It gives you like, um, basically your phone kind of like tells you how often Ooh. you use your phone, like screen time wise. So it's a report on your usage. Yeah, it's a report on your usage. It has bar graphs. It tells you like what apps you use a lot. Um, of course, you would love this shit. Oh, you spent thirty-two minutes on Hearthstone. I yeah been doing those puzzles and like um, notifications how many notifications you get uh, you could do last seven days things like that so it's just kind of like analytics on yourself on how often you use your phone this and must be heaven for you to run analytics on yourself it is well <laughs> in a sense it's always good to know your know oneself you know get to have an idea of like if you're addicted to your phone or yes. have an idea of like in graph form. no I am in graph form. <laughs> just says yes this is how addicted I am <laughs> I think it's it's a very useful uh, would you say the have. iPhone is worth it the iPhone 10s worth it um well I came from a uh, 5s so okay. for, oh, me, it's, it's, for me it's for me everything is really jump. nice like everything's fast and stuff Let like my 5s was it wasn't bad. It was usable, but it was definitely slower. But I didn't realize... Apple was probably nerfing it. So you're, you're at the same time. clearly not one of those guys who has to get the new one because you went from 5 to 10. Most people are like 6 months later. 6 comes yeah. out. And they're like, no, I have to get that one. Well, that's Apple. Seven, Apple, Apple I... started <laughs> phone. And you know, it's a whole big, a whole big scandal they did. What? There they would a... they would actively fuck up, fuck the old up phone. your old phone so that you'd have to get yeah, it. Yeah, they make it slower. Essentially. Yeah. Yeah. And some without, I think it is That's justified for older phones because it, because one of the thing Apple does um, compared to other companies is that they support all their older phones on their on their latest iOS, mm-hmm. right? So they so the i five or the five S was still on the latest version, like iOS twelve. Yeah, their right? support for older phones is still better than any other yeah. phones out there. But you do run into that challenge because older phones don't have the same hardware. Yeah. So you do, you would have to write something to either slow it down so it doesn't consume as much battery. Because the 5S that I had, uh, like battery was definitely an issue. Even um, even when I went back to check if my battery was an issue, they found nothing with the hardware, but it still was significantly like, it wasn't keeping its charge. Like I'll use it and it'll just drain like crazy. And I think it's just, um, just how technology is like with well, software and stuff. Well... There is a point to be, yeah, there is a point to be made that the older phones just can't keep up with, the, well, I guess, the newer updates. But I don't think it was as clean as that go in, in this case. You know what I mean? You mean like I you wish you had a choice? dirty with it, though. It was definitely something like, like, if you're going to do it that way, right. you could be transparent. Yeah, like, even if they said something like, oh, this is the reason why. It's like, and, 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 and people aren't stupid. You can have people that 
do, that can run the diagnostics on their phone and they can see this and, and whether it's bullshit. Yeah, or if, not. if whether it's bullshit or not, if Apple said, you know, it's it's literally because your old hardware can't support it. They'd be like, yes, they're right, right. But what they were doing is they were li- they were actively, like actively, deliberately tampering with the performance of it, like needlessly, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, I read that too. Like, is they were. It was willfully doing it to make the older phones basically run shittier and slower. Yeah, so that yeah, they were. It was an active to buy the new one. Yeah, it was, of course, it was an active thing. It wasn't. I mean, because I think it depends on how. Well, from my perspective, using it. No, like, no well, but the, well, you gotta think like in the real world, right? Um, we are. We have a whole bunch of shit that we can we can look at and see how they behave, like old uh, graphics cards. Old, uh, just anything computer related. Old computers, whatever. But, if, but you're, you're, but what you're questioning is you're assuming that their intention is to have them buy newer phones, right? Where their intention could possibly be that they don't want the experience of their of customers' phones just running out of battery all the time. It well, they then they failed because their experience of that phone was shit, and it, shit enough that people noticed it, and shit enough that. People wrote articles about it, and shit enough that people accused Apple of this, and they had to come out and apo- basically uh, admit it and apologize. So mm-hmm. if that was their case, where oh, I want a better user experience with older phones, they completely fucked that up. So I don't know how you can like, how you can reconcile that. Oh, you know, this is this is a good this was a good thing that they tried to do. Mm-hmm. You can look at like the old Nvidia graphics cards and whatever, right? Like, yeah, it, you expect it would run shit, but it's not. It's not, Nvidia is not sending out, as far as I know active you know firmware updates to make your graphics card shit and that was that was what gra- apple was doing with their old phones they were actively making it shittier with each firmware update. Not- like if you didn't get the firmware update your phone might be running better than before you got it it should be noted this was a while back so i don't know if, yeah i don't sure. know if they'd still do that or not <laughs> well if From they the- don't do that anymore then that's indicative that oh fuck it was by purpose it wasn't just a design because if it wasn't just design From- like attrition it was yeah, they've, they've, if if they're doing that with good intentions back then, then they would still be doing it right now with a with a more streamlined process or whatever. Well, yeah. in the recent I mean, iOS twelve, people do say that it has improved a lot of the older phones, like performance wise. They have optimized it. Okay, so then that just that that just means that they were fucking with people then. Yeah, possible. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's interesting about transparency. Though, like how you much... know, I think Apple should still sponsor us. I, I <laughs> straight from that. Yes, <laughs> Tim Cook. If they give me an Apple phone, I'll use it. Well, one of the challenges I think with a lot of, the, like, especially tech or even in politics is transparency, right? Like, tra- I think because one, like the benefit of transparency is you gain trust of your customers or your clients. But the downside is like, if the clients or customers understand the information that you give them. Yeah. And sometimes that's why people hold back information, right? Like in Calgary, like Nenshi um, talked about a leakage of the Olympics. Yeah. Right. And the, there was a lot of distrust in his in his leadership because of that. And I think he was saying that these numbers were taken out of context uh, was his argument. Right. But it's, it's kind of different because one, you're, you're like, you're... A private company that's supposed to provide a consumer the consumers a product right that kind of transparency transparency is different from a government sort of transparency and transparency I would argue that transparency if, especially if it's in government is not necessarily what it's not necessarily good to have 100% transparency all the time there's sometimes there's sometimes a really good case to be made that at that time it's probably not a good idea to let a whole wide, a whole swath of people know about something that you're trying to do. If if it's like, especially something like something that actually national security related or something right? like that, right? Like if you're trying to catch like a terrorist attack or something, you don't want to give away what you're look, you know, like what you're going about, or or even if you know that something's gonna come around, right? Well, Apple or a, a, a consumer product. You definitely want to be as transparent as possible without, you know, giving too much to your competitors because people are buying your shit. You're supposed to be making these products for the consumer. They should know as much as they can about what they're buying, right? There's no national security element too much with... Uh, well, with phones, it's kind of getting... It's blurred because there's 
there's some stuff. But yeah, I, I, yeah. Well, technology. But it, it's still a consumer product. Right? Yeah, it's a consumer yeah. product. It's, just, it's not like it's coming. It's it's a product that the government is issuing to, a, 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 you know, elite officials or something like yeah. that. Yeah, and government can fuck up a lot of times too. Like at the NSA, listen to people without people knowing, right? And that's not something that a company <laughs> can do it's, either. It's like that. There was that chatter a, a few years ago about. Uh, some like smart TVs recording you like that's that's another thing that yeah. should be uh, uh, transparent when you buy a product if you're buying a TV or something you should know if or what was it there was the Xboxes as well or something oh it's Alexa I think yeah oh Amazon yeah yeah, yeah, yeah the Alexa were, it was basically. sending out messages and also exactly. yeah so I mean the, when it comes to consumer product you, you should know uh, like 100% what you're buying into yeah but the reason they're not give, they're not they would try to either hide it or try to minimize the damage just because they they're share they're shareholders right yeah like they news like that goes out their shares one of the shareholders you know start to fucking you know start to be on their asses and shit right mm-hmm. so that's that's like literally the only reason that they have to say oh we can't really just disclose, disclose some stuff which is which is a terrible reason right and like yeah as a consumer yeah you fuck it's probably w- much better um, as a company. It's probably much better, looks much better if you come out with, uh, with a, like an announcement of some problem and you let them know and yada, yada, yada. But that's the other thing with all new products today. They're all connected to. They're all wireless internet capabilities. Everything's connected. So in that sense... There's always an issue of getting hacked, or even the the corporation that's selling it being able to record data and you know record. Yeah, I'm saying. Well, I don't think realistically they'll ever tell you straight up. Yeah. But you know, like that would probably be the smart. Like people would actually, uh, people would actually fucking really like if a company did that. I ima- I bet you if a company did that and just went out of their way to say, look, there's a problem with this. Like told you know, there's a problem with this. We're gonna fix it, but this is what it does right now. Yeah. And then they offer, you know, everybody some some kind of assurance or some kind of a fix for it. I think people would be like, "Oh wow, I really like that." You don't see that often nowadays. You know, this company is actually absolutely <laughs> trustworthy. Yeah, it would but, be, but you'll get a bunch of competitor companies that will kind of skew it. Be like, "Oh, we don't have that kind of issue." Oh, that was yeah. like that yeah. PlayStation Four and uh, Xbox. There was like... even uh, there was even a even more uh, closer example. Remember, did you ever hear that news? I think it was years back where Intel had that big problem with their chips. Yeah, it was There's a security, a security flaw. flaw yeah. And then to in order to combat it, basically it would downgrade your performance of your chips by up to from anywhere from like five to like even fifteen, twenty percent or something. I think like it that. might have been even higher than that. Even higher than that. And then but what they did was they basically waited the CEO or I guess or someone knew all that, waited resigned or something the day before and opted to get his uh fucking retirement or whatever this exit package before <laughs> that news hit right and the Did stock took a out? massive yeah he's cashed out and the stocks took a massive dump i don't can't re- they get him on i don't that? remember if the sec or whoever ever prosecuted him on that shit yeah it's like insider trading yeah but i do or um that is interesting like when you talk because the company or in my work one of the challenges that when like you know there's problems in like the things you develop mm-hmm. but sometimes they just don't have as higher priority as the things you're developing yeah but when when like it gets out that like oh that's a problem suddenly your whole focus shifts to fixing that problem yeah. just to keep keep um client relationship whatever yeah i always find that really annoying because it's like you don't um because when your focus is shift it, it takes away your objective that you want to focus on right what yeah, but I would argue, what is your actually like? What is the overall objective you work in as a company? You want clients. Yeah, you do. If you clients. don't focus on fixing the problem, you're not gonna. But have there's always there's always clients. a battle of like existing clients and new clients, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? And like every, it's basically like everything's important, and depending on what gets like highlighted, yeah, gets gets becomes a priority or. If you're like trying to like create a new product, right? but yeah, let me play it this way. All right, let's just say, for example, just a hypothetical, and this is this is rooted in the real world as well. You're like a fucking auto. You're a car company, right? Let's just say you're Honda or whatever, right? You're coming out with a new ass 2020 Civic, 
right? Sure. And you're spending a lot of resources into that. But you find out that the 2018 Civic has a pretty big safety flaw that would, could kill a lot of people. <laughs> do you, and at that point, you're like, I don't have the resources to keep both of them up, you know, up and running. What do you do? You keep on developing the Civic 2020 or and not devote that much attention? You don't like do a flip to try to devote resources to fix that fix the, the car that everybody else has right right now driving on the street or do you just say fuck it you know let's roll the dice and let's put everybody hands on deck on the new 2020 civic let's not do recalls on that right i uh, it's definitely not a, like a black and white question well it's i mean like gray. which one do you like think you would have to you have to do studies you would one, have to do analysis which one would do the most damage to your company in the end you know potentially both Right, because if you if you spend time, okay, which one let's you go think? 2018. 2018. That's what yeah, which one do you kill. think? 2018. There you go. Okay, <laughs> but if you don't if you don't have a car out for 2020, like because you fixed the 2018 issue, but you have nothing to show for the 2020, that's very damaging as Who's well. Who's gonna buy a car if you don't give a shit about people? Is it? <laughs> no, but if you if you fix the 2018, then your loyal customers will become even more loyal because they'll know when these guys fuck up, they let me know. The potential they, they fix, fix for the 2020 is way easier than fixing however many cars are already out in the streets. So. I mean, yeah, like that that's the whole thing. That's the whole a whole deal with this. But and with but with consumer products, you always have to meet certain deadlines. Like when when you're when you have a new product, it has to come out that day. Right? Yeah, but you're thinking like way too you're you're thinking like way too narrowly at that one thing where it's like a project deadline. Like this yes, it's very important. But overall, if you if something as uh, something more serious is start, that that can threaten to sink your company presents itself, of course you switch. Well, like, yeah, if it's something that product, drastic, for sure. Yeah, the pro- that's what that's that's what. But it, it might, is. but it might not be that drastic, right? It might be like annoying. Yeah, they could go both ways. Either problem could so be like stress. Like if we're using the car example, if it's an issue of like, say, the transmission could give out, you no, know, any fucking given time without any warning that's a big issue yeah right? and well you can't just be like uh well we'll focus on the 2020 well exactly well in the 2020 they would it would ideally they'll be like oh we gotta fix this transmission no, problem for the 2020 also address the issue about the cars that are already on the road yeah like the 2018 or whatever you have to yeah, issue recall, recall and you'd have to like, and like you'd have to you can't recalls cost them a lot of money but they have to do it you have and to they, do they, it. they they would get crucified if they didn't yeah but i'm, I'm curious how many people actually do those recalls too like because you have to yeah, voluntarily some people, some people don't but what, yeah. if it's found out like they they have to like they have to i think most they people have to, law, they have to because but it would never i would never think it would take priority over their like new projects you know what i mean like i yeah, wouldn't it's people's safety though if it was something, yeah, if it was I something... I think they would devote, like, a special team to work on it. But I don't think they would divert their... It's how, re, it their depends strong. on how big the problem is. If the problem is being yeah, managed exactly. by a team, yeah, they do a special team. But if it's something like a massive problem where it's like, holy shit, everybody driving our cars could die right now. <laughs> <laughs> they're not going to do... They're probably going to put the, the new... The new project on hold to address this yeah, issue. But, if, but if you have to dedicate like a whole factory to building new transmissions for the ones already and, on the road, then you know they can't just be like. But what I'm trying to say, I guess, originally is that with transparency or when things get leaked, um, it like people like especially the news they exaggerate the issue. Of course. Right? So they it's really hard to that, yeah. yeah, it's hard to really judge like the issue that the the media tells it versus like the engineers. Right. Yeah. They were like, "Oh, yeah, we knew about that bug. It wasn't a big deal from like internal testing, but like the news like exploded. And now we have to fix this." Right. But you could see like the optics of it, right? Like the company would say, "Okay, it's blown up in the news. We have to devote a team to this." Even if you say, "Oh, you know yourself, it's not a big deal." They have to devote. They have to look like they have to devote. Yeah, they have to look like they're doing it, something. And also, they have to devote a lot of resources to it because they recognize that something like this is very damaging. Especially to, you know, like their consumer, like their very business is threatened by this. And that's why it takes priority over maybe like a new project. That's why yeah. they're, they're shipping people away. And that's my annoyance is when it, when that does happen, where you're like... Yeah, but probably it's to save your company from going under and rather not than you meeting a deadline. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, forget the fact that the 20, like your example being the 2020 um, production or model. But if they're working on like a 2028 concept car or something like that, you're not you're gonna of course put that on the back burner. You're not gonna be like, yeah, they could put a delayed release or something. Yeah, 
I mean, yeah, if it's something like mundane, then yeah, like you, either way, it's like you, the, the the precedence of like uh, it depends how serious it is. Even if it's just if it's just a a, a show and it's not actually you know it's not actually like world ending serious. As long as people perceive it to be serious, you will also have to treat it very seriously, right? So you know you gotta you, if you had to put projects on hold to deal with this and play fucking firefighter and put out these fires. That's what people got to do. Was this the high note you wanted to end? <laughs> and that's our high note, guys. <laughs> that's a terrible high note. <laughs> All the notes are about the yeah, same. It was day. a weird tangent, but that's our episode for this week or however long we do these releases. But uh, thanks for listening. Again, like, comment, subscribe. That usual deal. And I'll, I'll, I'll try to check. Twitter. <laughs> no All right, man. Have stuff. fun in Japan. Don't get kidnapped, raped, yeah. or killed. That'd be nice. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> and uh, stay tuned for hopefully they release an episode because I'd give that a listen. I heard this show is good. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thanks All for right. listening. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye. See ya.